And we're back. And right now we're joined via Skype by Chris Hall. Chris is a 25-year-old autistic entrepreneur, as he calls himself, who one day decided to form an organization known as Computers for the Autistic Foundation. And that was when he wasn't doing his work from home PC repair, um, which now helps educate and helps others through donating the power of a computer to benefit them as become young adults at no cost to them. Welcome to the show, Chris. Hello, everybody. What's going on? My name is Chris. I am an autistic entrepreneur who does an organization known as Computers for the Autistic Foundation. How did you start that, Chris? Um, how I started it was I was fixing computers for people just out of random. And I realized at the time that I wasn't making enough to do anything at all. So I decided one day that I would decide to help kids who were autistic to be able to build computers to donate for education purposes and for social skill purposes and stuff like that. So It's very cool. And I understand that your business is, uh, it's important to you to be eco-friendly. Talk to us a little bit about that. So I'm one of the only organizations that uses what's called a Bellamobile, which is called a bike car as a mode of transportation over the known automobile and everything else like that. Um, we also use trikes as a mode of transportation. Um, we have done probably over 5,000 miles in the last three or four years alone, transporting computers to children all across the South Shore of Boston and Massachusetts. And how many miles an hour can you go on that thing? It's cool. Um, with the Elf, I can go up to 30 miles an hour. Um, with a normal trike, about 20 miles an hour. It depends on where I am in the Boston area that I can go through. So, But Boston gets some serious snow. Doesn't that slow you down a little bit? Aren't you freezing? No, not really, because a lot of the time it's just a workout for me. So I, I'm usually sweating like crazy <laughs> when it comes to riding a bike over all that. And then... When it's snowing out or anything else like that, if it's really snowing really bad, we do not operate. So, Wow. Tell us what autism means to you and to those you help. Autism to me means, you know, you are unique. Autism means, you know, don't let anybody get in the way of your happiness being who you are. You know, look up every day to know that, you are who you are. Don't let anybody bring you down. That's amazing. Okay. And, and, you know, you started this business and you've been promoting this business. How do you make your business stand out in a sea of companies uh, to, to be able to get the attention you need to be able to help the folks you're helping? Well, we mostly do our stuff on Facebook. We do a lot of our stuff just in the community ourselves. Um, we work with other organizations such as um, Access, Autism Sprinter, everybody else who works in the autistic community. We work alongside them as well. Um, we also do disability advocacy as well for kids who need it. So, you know, we are really looking at the opportunities to help kids in need to be able to help them along the way. Um, we also work with many um, other companies as well. So um, we're pretty much out there. You know, we don't get a lot of donations outward, but we do get our word out to other people. So, How can people support you then? Well, um, in the state of Massachusetts, we do accept donations of old computers that can help children in need. We also have uh, fundraisers as well to keep um, us up and going. Um, we have two GoFundMes. We have one for computer parts and, you know, just stuff that we need to fix computers. And then we have one for the trikes that helps us rebuild them, keep them on the road, that kind of thing. So. And do you take all computers? You just take PCs or you take Macs? How do we, and how do we donate a computer? Um, how you donate a computer is we work with a few 
few of our local shops in our area, and they are our official drop-off locations. Um, we take any computer that has a dual, like a dual-core computer like processor in it. Um, we don't take anything that's older than 2006 just because of what we install on it. Um, we um, take a Chromium OS, like a Chromebook, and we install that for computers that are donated. Okay, because that was going to be my next question. I, I've got a couple of old computers, but I think they're too old. And yeah, at I a think mine point, are too old, too. At a certain point, you can't do anything. Right. Now, for all, those of us who are computer illiterate, Chris, how would we know if we have a dual-core processor? Would it say it somewhere in the computer? Yes, it would say it. Usually, a lot of computers have stickers on them that would say, like, Intel Core 2 Duo, um, AMD, um, you know, all that stuff works out, too. Um, we also take old tablets, you know, they have the factory reset, but we do take tablets to help kids with their assistive technology tools. So. And how many kids would you say you've helped do this program? Um, in the past seven years or so, I think I've helped 30. Okay, great. But it's life-changing when yes, somebody it is. gives you a computer. I, thought, I bet you've got some amazing stories of what these young people were able to do with these donated computers. Well, we're not just helping um, children, too. Um, I'm actually starting to help people who are on elderly homes and group homes as well because we work with, um, again, I work with disability advocacy people, and a lot of them end up living in elderly homes, uh, housing sections, and all that stuff, too. So, um, you know, I'm trying a trial where we donate one computer for everybody to use, and if nothing goes wrong with the computer, and within a long period of time, um, I'm going to consider helping those who struggle to have Internet access where they live. So. And you also, when you, in, your, in your spare time... You have a model train club, is that correct? Yep, that's right. Um, I'm a part of, going to be a part of, uh, the Bay State Model Railroad Museum in Rosendale, Mass. So. That's cool. Great. So if people want to donate a computer, how do they do it? Again, um, we work with our local computer shops for donations. Um, I'm not super sure about how the process would go if somebody lived far away. It's just um, the costs for shipping computers can be very expensive, especially in bulk. Okay. Uh, you know, the difficult part is the um, hazmat fees for batteries. Um, they can get very expensive because if something was to happen during shipments. Okay. Um, we're 100% Sure, that's why donations, when we do donations, they're local. So, you know, we want to donate out to out of state, but it's just kind of difficult at this oh. time. So. And how does one sign up for a donated PC? So how you would get a donated computer, if you live within our mile range, you'd go visit our website and download our... Um, sign up form that we have and you fill it out and you mail it in to us by the postal service with a copy of your child's IEP or their doctor's diagnosis for proof. And what is your website, Chris? Um, it, it's kind of odd to say, you know, I usually don't just like say it. Um, I usually just type it out, but it's um, the PC pit stop 001.wix.com forward slash CFTAF. That's okay. a mouthful. It is a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's it. why I just redirect everybody over to our Facebook page. Okay. So Facebook page. We have Instagram, too. So, and what's the uh, Facebook page? Yeah, what's uh, your Facebook the, page? Yeah, the Facebook page is Computers for the Autistic Foundation. Okay, okay good. Okay, That's easier. Sense. All right, Thank you so much. You're doing great much. work. We yes. appreciate you coming on the show today to talk about it. Oh, no problem. I appreciate your time, too, and I really hope that people will consider visiting us and helping us with our cause. So Absolutely. Really Great appreciate. cause. Thank right. you Thank so you, Chris. much, Chris. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, I so, yeah. People are, I love the entrepreneurial spirit. Yes, and, entrepreneurial and spirit. When they see a problem 
uh, find a solution. Mm -hmm. What a great, great thing. So we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to be with Dr. Mary Barbera. And thrilled uh, to have her on the show, so yeah. stick with us.